Hello, I'm Lewis from DIY Machines, and in this short video, I'll show you how to add male and female style DuPont connectors to the ends of your wires using a simple low cost crimping tool. Making your own connections allows you to make wires of any length that you require with any combination of terminators as and when you need them. Mini PV, better known as DuPont, are common in hobby electronics. They're the style of connectors that you'll often find on the end of the rainbow colored jumper wires. You'll need just a few things to add these super simple connectors to the ends of your wires. Some plastic DuPont housings and some DuPont connectors and a crimping tool. To make my connectors, I'm using this simple low cost kit. You'll find a link to it on Amazon in the description below. First, we'll need to choose between a male and female connector. This is what the two look like when complete. You'll want one of these metal connectors. They often come on a roll and can be easily removed by bending back and forth a few times. This is the one used for the female connections and this is the male type. They both share some similar features. This open V end will hold onto the insulation of our wire once crimped. The open U shaped section will make contact with the core of the wire and then the remainder of the part makes up the physical connection between your wire and the device that you're wanting to connect to. Once you've chosen your connector, we can place it into our crimpers. Our crimpers have several different sized recesses for the different sized connectors. You can also remove this screw, turn the cog and reinsert the screw to change the strength of the crimp. This lever here allows you to release them without having to complete the crimping action. Just pull the lever upwards like this. We start the crimping by seating the connector in the jaws of the crimper itself. The V-shaped piece should be facing upwards and pulled back so that it stops against this ridge. You can then partially close the crimpers to hold it in place. Strip about five to seven millimeters of insulation from your wire and then insert it into the connector. Check on the other side of the connector that the wire has gone inside the tunnel section before crimping. If I show you about the crimper in the way, the positioning should look like this. If all looks good, squeeze down on the crimpers to make the first crimp. I like to then remove the connection and repeat the crimp on the next size down to ensure a good crimp is achieved. Check the connection for these three things before proceeding. Is the insulation gripped by the V section? Is the U-shaped section now gripping the wire conductor itself? And is the end of the wire still inside the connector? If all of this is satisfied, then we can choose the plastic housing. Your choice will be defined by how many wires you would like to group together in one connector and what layout you would like, such as in one row or two. It doesn't matter if you're using the male or the female part of the metal connector. They both use the same plastic housings and they're both inserted from the wider end of the housing. When inserting the connector, ensure that the open top of the connector where you can see your wire is inserted facing upwards so that this ridge engages with this tongue on the plastic housing, which will prevent the connector from being pulled back out of the housing unintentionally. The male connector is done in much the same way. Seat the connector in the crimper, strip the wire, insert into crimper, check positioning of the crimp, crimp the wire, and then insert it into the plastic housing. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out some of the other projects I've completed. Otherwise, until next time, ciao for now.